What do you want to speak to us about? I see you've got your book here. Yes, I've got my book here today. I probably will not really refer much to the notes, but I want structure. <laughs> no, nothing wrong. So what, what, what the problem is today is um, South Africa doesn't realize that we are sitting in this end of year period mm. and the South African government and South African parliament have got a task to create laws and policies that are going to determine how money flows in South Africa going into the future. And the laws that we're being forced to create in this period are not laws that are supposed to advance South Africa, but they're supposed to advance the countries that are forcing us to make these laws. Now, many people don't know what I'm talking about. We, as black people, spend too much time doing our piano. And even white people don't know that South Africa has been put on what is called the FATF or the Financial Action Task Force uh, uh, potential to be put on a gray list. So they are flagging the South African financial system, saying that the finance, this organization that is called the Financial Action Task Force. So let me define that a little bit. So the Financial Action Task Force is a private organization that has been created by the G7 nations. Well, G7 nations, as you would know, are the same nations that colonized Africa mm. and colonized Asia. Do you know them? Sorry. I know America's there. I think America, France, France Japan. Britain, Japan. Germany. Germany. Um, but, 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 but who have we left there? Okay, I'll find yeah. them. Sorry, so please carry on. G7. Those nations are the same nations that brought us colonialism, slavery. And now they're bringing us something called a continuation of colonialism and slavery through what is called neocolonialism. This neocolonialism is where you see that they continue to control the resources of the same countries that they colonized, resources and property that they got through the crimes of colonialism and uh, slavery. They continue to control them today in what is called neocolonialism. And they even go and attack nations that have those resources that they don't control so that they can control those resources. So if you look at what has happened recently, you saw the attack on Iraq, that was mm -hmm. not about Saddam Hussein having weapons of mass destruction. It was about taking control of the resources that mm -hmm. Iraq has, which is the oil. Yeah. They went and attacked Libya. They removed Gaddafi so that he wouldn't introduce the gold dinar and so that he would also not continue to control the oil that he was using to advance Africa and to grow Africa. If you understand, the ANC's own liberation was funded partially by Gaddafi, hence Nelson Mandela was clear that Gaddafi was a friend to South Africa. Mm. They also attacked Afghanistan, Syria, Yemen. And the whole intention of that was to destroy the capacity of these uh, Middle Eastern nations that were not aligned with America, creating a new system where the resources or the oils would be paid for in other currencies other than the US dollar. Libya wanted to use a gold dinar, which is a gold currency that they wanted to back up with gold and oil. Mm. Gold, and back, gold back currencies, which we don't have anymore. Which we don't have anymore. So so these countries that are in the West, these G7 nations. Sorry to go back. Uh, if you can count them again, America, Germany, Japan, the United Kingdom, France, and then we left out Italy and Italy Canada. Italy and Canada, Yeah, 100%. So th those same nations, if you look, they are what is called the Transatlantic Alliance. Mm. And the Transatlantic Alliance is a combination of the Americans with their brethren or kith and kin on the European continent, mm. creating a system of laws and a system of um, uh, institutions yeah. to control the world. Among them is the uh, World Trade Organization, <coughs> the IMF, mm. and the World Bank. And they use these institutions together with the United Nations mm. to create what is called international law that allows them to continue to control the resources of the world, the lands of the world, in the continuation of the doctrine of discovery that we mm. spoke about 1454 in our first video. Mm. So it's the same pattern of trying to maintain that system of this 1454 doctrine that then became the law of nations that is now becoming international law that is advanced and pushed by the Americans and their transatlantic partners.